Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I got this graduated effect with candy floss pink and lavender hair dye. So it's not got such a harsh dip dye line, but it's actually blended. So to start off with, I was using Violet by Stargazer, and it was only £5, and I was also using Candy Floss by Crazy Colour for the um, ends. So I started off by putting some conditioner into a bowl, and then using a really small, small amount of Violet hair dye, diluted it with the conditioner, and then mixed it in until there was like no uneven bits of colour in there. Mixed the conditioner with the hair dye and it was all mixed. I then put it on to the hair extensions on a bit of tin foil. So I spreaded the dye onto the hair extensions, just on the top part of the hair extensions. I uh, also dyed the weft. Once you spread the violet dye halfway to the hair extensions, you want to take the candy floss pink and then put it on the bottom half. If you don't wash the brush out, you could get a more graduated effect. So then start spreading the candy floss pink onto the bottom of the hair extensions and then when you get to the middle part, blend the purple and the pink dye together with the brush and it should be nice and blended. Don't forget to turn the hair extensions over and repeat it on the other side, otherwise they will be patchy. So once you have your hair all smothered in hair dye, you need to wrap them up in your tin foil and then leave them for about 25 minutes and then rinse them with like warmish cold water because cold water can make their hair dye last longer. So once you've done that then you can dry them, style them, clip them in or glue them, whatever you fancy and then you'll have lovely blended hair. And you can do this with any other colour, it doesn't have to be pink and purple. Uh, it looks really nice with blonde and pink at the bottom so you could always do that with like a blonde toner as well. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys, it was just a quick how to um, and see you guys soon, bye guys!